Rebel fam, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Uh oh. Um, all jokes aside, this shoe is winning the battle. And if you know what battle I'm talking about, whatever he's going through with Adidas, hopefully he comes out on top. You know, I'm not gonna get into the whole sneaker beef or anything like that between those two, or brand beef, I should say, between Yeezy and Adidas. I know nothing about it for the most part outside of what we've seen on social media, so I'm really not gonna comment fully. But um, this shoe that we're reviewing today, family. Whew, yeah, I'm definitely impressed. You know, I try to be as unbiased as possible, but today, Rebel Fam, I think we're gonna have a pretty lopsided review of the shoe we're talking about today. But before we get into it, Rebel Fam, welcome back to the channel. To my returning subscribers, guys, thank you for coming back. To my new subscribers, thank you for taking the time out of your day to click that subscribe button. Thank you for taking the time out of your day just to be here on the channel, watching videos, commenting, liking, sharing, doing all of those things to keep the channel growing. It does not grow without you. So for that, I just have to say thank you. Now. With that being said, family, let us go ahead and get into today's review and on foot look at the Adidas Foam Q in its white colorway. like that family let's just go ahead and get the elephant out of the room if you're interested in knowing my opinion of this versus the Yeezy foam runner I'm willing to pay 30 to 40 extra dollars retail USD for this guy right here especially if we start getting colors similar to the foam runner like this white pair right here oh this is definitely staying in the collection man this is the shoe that how you want that style but with that intensely added comfort factor that we thought that the foam runner was giving us now don't get me wrong the foam runner is a great Great. I'm gonna call it slip on type of shoe with this insulated interior that comes with the Audi Foam Q. I'm sorry guys, but this has the foam runner beat by a mile and I've already tried the shoe on. It is unbelievably comfortable. So as we get into the video Rebel Fam, there will be an on foot at the end of the video so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Comfort on this thing is top notch, but beforehand, of course we have to get into the materials and the backstory of the Adidas Audi Foam Q. I am gonna get this information from the good folks at kicks on fire let's go ahead and see exactly what is up with this shoe rocking a similar aesthetic as the controversial adidas yeezy foam runner standout details include the sculpted design with cutouts placed throughout for ventilation the outer shell is then paired up with a sock like booty and the addition of laces trefoil branding appears to be on the tongue as well retailing for 120 dollars look for the adidas Audi foam q in this off-white and orange colorway to debut at select retailers on September 2nd. So the shoe has actually been out for a little bit. I was actually able to hit my pair on a restock at Foot Locker, believe it or not. I actually hit on the Foot Locker app, literally put it in the cart, checked out, Apple paid it and kept it moving, which was new to me because that never happens. But anyways, for those of you who want to know somewhat of the backstory, many people say, oh man, that's like the foam runner. In a way, yes, but then in a way, no. Via the Kicks on Fire site, it says, much to our surprise, the Adidas Audi Foam Q is not a new Adidas Yeezy sneaker. I think a lot of people thought that this was going to be like a Foam Runner 2 or some type of like a Foam Runner 2 or some type of like enhanced Yeezy Foam Runner or something like that. But it's actually nothing like that. The Adidas Audi Foam Q is actually a new silhouette that takes inspiration from the crafted foam of the archival Adidas Quake from 2001. If you are familiar with Adidas sneakers from back in the early 2000s, the Adidas Quake is is actually a very close representation of this shoe. And matter of fact, here, let me go ahead and show you all the picture right there so you guys can see that side by side. I do not have a Quake 2001 to show you, so we're gonna go with this picture right here. All right, but yeah, Rebel Fam, so you can see it right there. The resemblance is pretty uncanny if we're getting real with it. But yeah, so look, I'm gonna be honest with you, that is the inspiration behind this shoe according to Kicks on Fire. Fam, if I'm being very real with everyone out there behind this camera lens, I don't care what inspired this shoe. It's fire, it's dope, it's different, and it is so comfortable, family. When we're talking about that foam shell, compared to the Yeezy Foam Runner, if we're being very truthful about this, this foam is 
a lot thicker. And then of course, just to add the icing on the cake that mwah, factor, we do have an insulated interior that fits your foot like a glove. Uh, yes, and then you add laces to it so you actually do not have to worry about this shoe slipping and moving around. With my foam runner that I have, sometimes the it, it'll ride up on the back a little bit. This, not so much because we have this padded booty on the inside right here. So you guys can actually see, it actually comes with that padding to secure the back of your ankle and make your foot just feel really good. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, the entire top area of this is insulated. So the ankle has padding, the top of the tongue has padding, and you can just feel how soft it is, Rebel Fam. And then of course, that Audi Plus technology that is in the sole of the shoe, similar to the Quake 2001, that is what makes this shoe unique. Now, yes, for whatever reason, yes, you can actually take this out and you actually can just rock the shell if that's what you want to do because the comfort factor on this thing family is just flat out out of this world now with regards to sizing man go true to size you don't have to go a full size up or a half size up like you have to do on a foam runner you don't have to go a half size down as if this shoe was too big for your foot honestly it's actually pretty spot on this is a size 12 i wear a size 12 with a wide foot and this shoe fits my foot so dag on good y'all i'm trying to tell you get your hands on this shoe while you can i think on the aftermarket right now i think this shoe is going a little above retail right around that 155 to 175 range so if you can if you're not able to get it at retail i would be willing to pay 200 bucks for this shoe i'm not paying 200 dollars for a foam runner just going to keep it honest but i will pay 200 for this audi foam q right here just it's it's honestly just that daggone good, fam. Adidas branding comes all over the shoe. You do have it right there on that back heel area. You do have that Audi Plus branding right there. Another Adidas logo is visible right there on the bottom of the shoe. And I do love the hints of cream that come on the bottom right there, family, so you all can see that. Nonetheless, just a dope sneaker all the way around. Adidas orange branding right there on the interior. And it does say on the inner sole, Adidas made with Harley Ocean Plastic in plastic waist the brand with the three stripes so now we know what this is made of not necessarily foam ocean parlay parley ocean plastic that is what we get right here all right and then we got a set of laces as well and this is the pair right here family so look y'all let me know what you think about the audi phone q man is this a shoe for you did you pass on it actually not even pass on it were you able to get it i was lucky enough to hit on a Foot Locker restock for these i have been wanting these since i saw them um, a lot of the sneaker stores that i frequent in washington dc none of them got them in so i guess adidas is trying their luck at the whole build the hype make it limited type of thing with regards to some of their more baseline products like this as far as the box goes family it comes in a blue and white three stripes the brand with the three stripes box big adidas logo branding right there on the side small adidas logo branding right there on the lid and on the other side we do have the tag right there size 12 tag does read audi phone q style code is gy4455 off-white and aluminum i don't have to read the color but you guys can see the little hints of orange right there as well all in all i don't want to say it's better than the foam runner because the foam runner literally changed the game on how we look at comfort wear for your feet to be honest, the Yeezy slide also did as well, but man, I think this might take the cake. Now, granted, for me, rocking this shoe will definitely be something for next summer. I don't really see myself wearing this in the fall, but those really chill summer kickbacks, those nice nights out where you just want to be chill, like a sweatpants, sweatsuit type of thing. This is your shoe right here, Rebel Fam. Y'all go ahead and cop up. Don't let me talk your head off. Enjoy the on foot that is at the end of the video. It is your guy, Mac the Rebel. It is the Adidas Audi FOM Q in its off white and aluminum colorway enjoy the orange foot family i love you and i'll see you in the next one and we out peace